24 hours ago, we told you how Lamar CISD had opened an investigation based on the release of two videos shot inside Gray Elementary by a former teacher who now admits it was a big mistake. It was a poor judgment on my part. I would have never, I would never do it again. We're not identifying the former teacher because she hasn't been charged with a crime. Although Lamar CISD police again did open an investigation yesterday. If she would do this in the classroom, what else will she do? That followed a news conference by community activists calling out her behavior. I had a, a coworker call me and she's like, H, you're on the news. She claims the videos were either shot on a Sunday when she stopped by the school to pick something up or in a restroom with no one else around and were only shared with an ex-boyfriend with whom she's gone through a very bad breakup. I've never sent this out to thousands of men like I'm not that type of person. This was just a relationship, a private matter, and he released it. KHOU legal analyst Carmen Rowe believes what the former teacher did may be unethical, but not necessarily criminal. Although the same may not be true for anyone who shares the videos online or otherwise under the state's so-called revenge porn statute. Anyone who sends that material out, promotes it for whatever purpose, puts themselves in harm's way and can be charged. And in Texas, we do file these charges and we pursue punishment pretty aggressively. Tonight, the former teacher who says she resigned from Lamar CISD for unrelated reasons at the end of the school year. All I can do is learn from the situation. Hopes neither her career nor reputation are permanently impacted.